morning. Welcome to the Wax Wake Up for Friday, June 9th. I'm Christy Matino. Our top story this morning, former President Donald Trump says he has been charged in special counsel Jack Smith's investigation into his alleged mishandling of classified records at his home in Mar-a-Lago. Trump is now facing an indictment of seven counts. The former president released a video to his social media last night saying he was an innocent man. Very sadly, we're a nation in decline that they can't stop because it's election interference at the highest level. There's never been anything like what's happened. I'm an innocent man. I'm an innocent person. This unprecedented news makes Trump the first former president to be indicted on federal charges. Trump's attorney, Alina Haba, appeared on Fox after the news broke, calling it the latest in a series of witch hunts against former President Trump. It's not really a different day for President Trump, right? I mean, this is something mm. that he's gone through, unfortunately, before. And I would love to tell the world that he's shocked, he's upset. He's only sad for the country. Trump has been summoned to appear at a federal courthouse in Miami on Tuesday. And Royals drama, the DHS must respond to Prince Harry's immigration documents request. Conservative group the Heritage Foundation is requesting records related to Harry being granted a visa despite his open admittance of federally restricted drugs. I spoke with Supreme Court reporter Kaylin Deese on what comes next in this case. The Heritage Foundation attorneys made their case as this is part of a larger effort to uncover non-compliance with law by DHS in other areas, such as accusations from GOP lawmakers that DHS is, quote, deliberately refusing to enforce the country's immigration laws and is responsible for the current crisis at the border. So while some people might think, you know, off the bat, like, is this going to like result in, you know, Harry perhaps, you know, like losing his status here in the United States? I think that's a little bit too much of a stretch for some people to be, you know, making that assertion. I, I think that's sort of not the whole point of this. The whole point is to see, you know, sort of is DHS, you know, applying their rules and their regulations across the board, even for celebrities and people uh, such as the royal family. You can watch our full interview with Kaylin on the Washington Examiner YouTube page this weekend. And New York Governor Kathy Hochul says the state is now sending a crew of forest rangers to help fight the Canadian wildfires. The smoke is currently blanketing the eastern United States. They will be joining firefighters from Maine and New Hampshire. Canadian officials asked for seven more people over the next two weeks so far. Hochul agreed and said they can supply more firefighters if their quest changes. The message is this is not over. You know, it's we might get a little respite, but I don't want people to let down their guard and to become complacent about this because we have to be prepared for the winds to shift. This is the unknown. The fires have been spreading across Canada over the last six weeks, causing heavy smoke that has put roughly 90 million people under air quality alerts particularly in cities like New York, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. And that's the news on The Wax Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines turning in politics.